Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Academy. In this video, we'll talk about what is bill of quantity and what is the role of bill of quantity in any construction project. So uh, suppose that you're a client, all right? So you are a client and you want to build something suppose that you want to build a nice looking pillar okay so you want to build this pillar so this is the ground level so what do you do so you have so what do you do so you have got the concept of this pillar okay so now you have to go to the consultant so you have to go to the consultant and what the consultant does is that uh, based on your concept you know what kind of pillar you want and why you want and where you want so based on that so consultant will prepare drawings so first you will prepare you know conceptual drawings and some 3ds or you want some changes and based on those changes you will finalize these drawings okay suppose that uh, so finally you are satisfied with the drawings and the uh, 3ds so uh, this is as per what you have uh, what you had conceived okay or as per the uh, suggestions of the consultant so consultant will also give you suggestions you know what is right for you and what is not right so so after you know uh, discussing with the consultant uh, so you finalize the drawing and you like the 3d as well okay so they have been finalized so what you have to do is now you have to hire a contractor to do your work okay so uh, now you hire a contractor uh, suppose that we got uh, three contractors contractor a contractor b and contractor c so we got three contractors and from these contractors we can choose one to each contractor what we do is that or the consultant plus client what they do is that they give a piece of paper okay so this piece of paper so this piece of paper what it will contain so it will contain all the quantities that will come while the construction work is being done so for example while you are doing this pillar what are the things that the contractor need to deal with so he needs to deal with uh, so first he had to do the excavation so you know also there is site clearance so excavation next what he has to do he has to you know place the rebars you know all the PCC and those things so that is in very detail so I'm just giving this example so uh, let us give uh, more so I'm just giving the example okay so this is just an example so after that you have to place the form works okay form works and uh, next what he has to do he has to uh, you know pour the concrete or concrete okay so uh, let us suppose that for now uh, he has to deal with only these many things so excavation rebar formwork and concrete okay so this uh, uh, so this piece of paper will contain all these items and their quantities so how we get the quantities so based on the drawing that is prepared by the consultant so he will prepare the you know he will get the quantities of each and individual works okay if the estimation is very accurate so these quantities will also turn out pretty much similar at the site also after the work has been done okay so uh, suppose for excavation rebar form work and concrete we got certain quantities okay and now what and now what the contractors will do is that they will put the rate of each and every work for example they will put the rate for excavation they will put the rate for rebar they will put the rate for form work and the concrete so based on the rate and the quantity they will get the amount for uh, this work okay similarly they will get the amount for this work this work and this work and they will add the total quantity so this piece of paper that gives information about what the items will the contractor have to deal with is known as the bill of quantity it doesn't give only information about the items but also their quantities okay so how these quantities are obtained so these quantities are obtained using the drawings so so consultant has got specialized persons you know uh, they are the quantity estimators they are very uh, profound in doing those kind of works by measuring from those drawings they will get the quantity and they will fill it and the cons contractor what he has to do he has to put the rate and get the total amount so now let us see how an actual bill of quantity looks like so here i got a bill of quantity of a, a site okay so on the top bill of quantity is written and here you have to write the name of the project the location the date of commencement of the project 
so september 2015 the location was katfandu okay building type so if you got you know various buildings in a similar project so in that case you can write the building type and job is the structure works so here is the serial number first column second one is the description of the work okay so what kind of work yeah the contractor has to do here is the unit that is the measurement of this work in which unit it will be measured is it in running meter is it in meter square meter cube or kg or you know ton you know it the unit may, might be anything so next column is quantity and the next column is rate next column is amount so amount so we'll see uh, we'll see these things one by one the first example here is the foundation or the earthwork okay so while doing any structure so the first work that you do is the foundation or the earthworks so so 1.1 then comes site preparation works so this over here you know gives uh, explanation of what this work actually is and what it will involve so for example site preparation works will involve clearing of the site uprooting carrying and disposing of the vegetation this is just a brief of this work and for the detail you know how actually this is going to be uh, this is going to be done you have to see the specifications so the unit here uh, is meter square the quantity is 3325 meter square so this is just an example here okay now the rate so now uh, what he has to what the contractor has to do is that he has to fill the rate so why he has to fill the rate what is the you know purpose of filling this rate i'll tell you later in this video keep watching so uh, so let us assume that uh, let us assume that i am the contractor now i have to fill the rate okay so for the uh, site preparation works i'll just uh, fill uh, for per unit okay so it is the per unit rate so it's 150 and i hit enter now amount so amount is equal to rate into quantity okay so four lakh ninety eight thousand seven hundred fifty rupees okay so similarly next work is the earthwork in excavation so what this work is and how this is going to be done earthwork in excavation in foundation it is including dressing of sites left up to all depth as shown in drawings and this uh, and this all thing so uh, the unit is meter cube and the quantity is 10,200 from the drawings the quantity estimator has taken the quantity as 10,200 meter cube so the rate uh, okay so the rate depends on how you will be making excavations so if you are making excavations using the excavator uh, the rate might be low if the soil is not very rocky the rate is low and if the soil is very rocky the rate is high and if you are doing excavation manually the rate is also high so uh, now uh, suppose that the soil is medium soil and I'm using the excavator and uh, my rate might be around 350. So this is just an example. I'm saying again it. Okay. So uh, similarly filling uh, works, you know, backfilling works and uh, the quantity is 5,304 meters square. And uh, let us suppose uh, that my rate is 250 meters square uh, per meter cube sorry so providing and filling of sand including watering grammaring all complete so it's meter cube 100 so i'll take it as uh 500 okay so sub total of one you get this value similarly you can do the same thing for the other works for example for the pcc uh this is one three six one is two three is two six that is for uh that is for m10 grade of concrete uh my rate might be twelve thousand mm -hmm per meter cube and for m20 grade of concrete it might be like 15,000 per meter cube similarly for the rcc works you can fill these things so how these things come uh, is that uh, so first one is the judgment so if you are very much experienced in these kind of works you know and based on the location of the project you can have this judgment that uh, by filling this much of amount my company will make profit so if you have that kind of instincts you can fill the rates by by that and other thing is that you have to do the rate analysis of each at each individual work for example for one meter cube of uh, pcc you can do the rate analysis right so, so there are certain methods for doing the rate analysis and you can do that okay from there also you can get these rates i hope you understand what is boq how it looks like and what is the purpose of boq so now comes uh, some interesting thing okay so i i uh, i uh, I show you I show you how you can you know do all these things right so how you can get the total this kind of 
uh, this kind of total amount so this is for the excavation similarly you can get uh, the rates for each and individual work and you can add all those amounts to get the final quantity for which you can carry out this project okay so suppose that uh, contractor a can do this work uh, for uh, rupees x contractor b can do this rupee for rupees y contractor c can do this work for rupees z this is the total sum so here is some interesting thing so if your project is a private project so in that situation the client is free to award this project to any contractor he likes uh, uh, suppose he likes contractor a so even if his this amount is uh, higher than these two amounts uh, he can award the contract to the contractor a maybe he knows the owner or the owner of the contract construction company a has done uh, other projects of the client so he can uh, give this project to a even if this sum x is greater than these two sums but in government projects suppose that uh, y is lowest of x and z it means that the contractor B has quoted the lowest amount. In that situation, the government project is liable to be uh, awarded to the contractor B. Whatever is the sum he has quoted, it will be awarded to him as long as uh, him as long as it is the lowest of all the bidders go you know way beyond their profit limit. So one thing that you have to remember is that while filling these values, these rates you have to make sure that your company makes a profit okay profit out of this work and you cannot go uh, below any limit that your company won't be able to make profit but sometimes what the contractor uh, what the contractors do is that uh, they have some got mischievous ways for earning profit and just to get that contract uh, they will go way below for example a site preparation work so uh, normally if it is done for 150 right so i fill 150 another contractor will fill 155 160 140 okay so that is some competitive price but sometimes the contractor might feel uh, feel like uh, 80 rupees 80 okay so there is a huge variation of the cost just by change in this rate so if he feels uh, like uh, rupees 80 and all these uh, like if it's 350 and he does it for like 200 and he keeps on doing this for each and every quantity the final co amount will be very low uh, and this project will be awarded to him so now he is liable to do the entire work in this low amount he knows this thing right but he has got some other means to make profit for example <laughs> for example so i'll just tell you if it uh, if it is got a road project okay so someone is constructing a road and the contractor has uh, filled the rates way below to the profit margin or the margin where he can make even a break even okay so in that situation he might have thought that he would sell stone that is generated from the excavation of the road uh, he might have those intentions or selling of the wood you know from the deforestation he gets some of those kind of mischievous or you know illegal ways of making money that he plans to generate later after getting the project uh, and the other bad effect of awarding the contract to the low priced uh, contractor is that so suppose uh, it is one three six one part by cement three parts by sand and six parts by aggregate uh, and and so the normal rate is twelve thousand and you can go up to as low as ten or eleven thousand right so suppose that a contractor proposes to do it at 5000 now you can imagine the quality of the work he can deliver at 5000 rate one thing is for sure is that whenever contractor applies for any contract he wants to make a profit no one applies for making a loss in any uh, project so at 5000 if he has to make a profit how what lower quality he can go he will surely try to mix low percentage of cement and high percentage of sand and aggregate or low quality of sand and low quality of aggregate and this will result in the bad quality of the output works okay so this can be heavily seen in the government projects so these are the things that you have to take care of while filling the bill of quantities so you have to make sure that your company makes profit out of it and the price you fill is competitive with other contractors as well what is the importance of the bill of quantities in any construction works okay so if you uh, you know carry out any project without this bill of quantity so what it might do is that first thing is uh, the contractor doesn't have any idea about things and their quantities that are involved in a uh, 
construction project okay so for example uh, you know so you see this rcc work here this is one of the one of the things that gives you a lot of profit in any construction works so if we see it's like 4000 meter cube of concreting work we have to do that means that we're going to make a lot of profit here the, these are the things that a contractor gets idea from here quantity of each and every work that is involved in the work that he will be going to do and also for the client and the consultant they get idea about you know total sum of of money that the project will cost so, all right guys so this is all about bill of quantities so if you have any question you can always ask me in the comments thank you for watching and take care